Welcome to the JBuilder Guide, where we will introduce you to JBoard and help you create and manage board pages and a full JBoard using the information provided in the JBuilder User Guide. JBoard is a powerful and versatile tool for creating custom board pages and full JBoards that can display a wide variety of content, such as websites, images, videos, charts, and more. It is designed to help users build personalized dashboards, organize their content, and streamline their browsing experience. By the end of this video, you will understand what JBoard is, how to create boards with various content types, customize your page layouts, and build JBoards to organize your board pages. In this section, we will guide you through creating a board page using JBuilder. Log into your YP Cloud account on the JBuilder website. You can sign up for free if you don't have an account. Once logged in, you'll see the JBuilder interface. You can customize your board grid by specifying the number of columns and rows, as well as adding headers and footers if needed. To add a panel to your board, click the Add Panel button. You can adjust the panel size by dragging the edges or entering the desired width and height in the panel properties. Remember that the total dimensions of your panels should fit within the board grid. Name your panel according to the content you want to display, such as YP Website. In the App field, enter the appropriate app type, for example, Page URL for Websites. In the Params field, enter the required parameters, such as the website URL you want to display. Save your board by clicking the Save button and providing a name for your board, such as Tutorial Demo 1. To preview your board, click the Preview button, which will open your board in a new tab. In this section, we will show you how to customize your panels using sliders to display multiple images in a single panel. To change an existing panel into a slider, click the Edit Panel button on the panel you want to modify. In the App field, enter Page Slider instead of Page URL. To add multiple images to the slider, enter their URLs in the Params field, separated by commas. Make sure to remove any extra dimensions from the URLs so that they end with the file format, such as JPG or PNG. Save your changes by clicking the Save button. Then, reload the board preview in your browser to see the updated panel with the image slider. You'll notice that the images automatically resize themselves to fit within the panel dimensions. Feel free to experiment with different panel types and content to make your board more engaging and informative. In this section, we will create a second board page with YouTube videos and charts to demonstrate the versatility of JBoard. Click the New Board button again to start creating a new board. Add a panel and name it YouTube Video. In the App field, enter Page URL and provide the URL of the YouTube video you want to display in the Params field. To add a chart panel, click the Add Panel button and name it Chart. In the App field, enter Page Chart. For the Params field, you can use a template from the JBuilder User Guide and modify it to fit your data. After customizing the chart parameters, save the board as, for example, Tutorial Demo 2 and preview it to see the YouTube video and chart panels you've created. In this section, we will demonstrate how to create a JBoard to organize and navigate through your board pages seamlessly. To create a JBoard, click on the Dock Builder icon. This will open the Dock Builder interface where you can add pages and link them to your JBoards. Each page will appear as an icon button on the Dock menu bar. Click the Add button to create a new menu item. Name the page, such as Home, and find an icon to represent it. You can search for icons on websites like flaticon.com copy the image URL of the icon you want to use and paste it into the icon URL field. Repeat the process to create additional pages for your doc. For example, you could create pages for Tutorial Demo 1 and Tutorial Demo 2 and assign appropriate icons to represent them. To link your board pages to the pages, click the Add Board icon in the center of each page and select the desired board from the list. If you want to change the board later, click the Edit icon and choose a different board from the list. Save your doc by clicking the Save button and providing a name, such as yp.me. To preview your doc and see how it works, click the Preview button, which will open your doc in a new tab. Test your doc by clicking the icon buttons on the menu bar to navigate between your boards. You can easily switch between boards, like flipping through the pages of a book. In this video, we covered the basics of creating and managing board pages and JBoards using JBuilder. Feel free to explore and experiment with different panel types and content to make your .mej boards more engaging and informative. For more guidance, check out the JBuilder User Guide, other tutorial videos, and stay tuned for future courses. Don't forget to check the video description for useful links and resources. Thank you for watching. <laughs>